So we've rented this U-Haul today to do a science experiment. If you fly this inside a closed space and then said closed space drives across the parking lot, will this go with the van or will it stay in one place and smash against the wall? What do you think is going to happen? I think it's going to go with it. You think it will? I think it will. Okay, we're going to do one with the door open. We're going to do one with the door closed. Of course, obstacle avoidance will be off for these experiments. Uh, we'll do one in GPS mode, one in Addy mode, and then we'll do one where the drone is hovering in space in the parking lot, and then Mr. Stunt Driver here backs the open truck around it, and we'll see what happens there. And then you drive the truck down the road with me in the back, and as you're going, I will launch this fly it around in here, and you will slam on the brakes and see what happens. That's just crazy. The first one is with GPS on. Doesn't look like it's helping. Hey, go for a little bit if you can. Not touching it. It is following. It is following with the door open. Go a little bit faster. Okay, okay. All right, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Wow, that, uh, that was a surprising result. It did go along for a little bit, and then I guess once the wind started coming in and disrupting the pod of wind, it got sucked out. All right, go ahead and back up to our original position, and we'll try one with the door shut. Roger. All right, so lock me in here with the drone and the spinning blades of death. All right, good to go. Okay, I don't know how good the lighting is. Hurry up, Zach, I don't know how long I can hold it. I need to turn the drone around. It's hard to fly backwards. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, I gotta turn it around. Okay. Okay, Zach, go. I'm not touching it. Not touching it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. All right. All right. I gotta land this thing. Woo! Woo, boy. Stop! I, I had an emergency situation. Uh, Go back to original position if you would. Okay, so um, what I think happened there was it was fighting to acquire GPS. So we'll do one in Addy mode. It's actually a little bit more stable. So far, it's going with it. Going along with it. Speed up a little bit. <laughs> okay, stop. That was a good result. That was a really good result. Let's go back to position one. Okay, even though it's hot as blazes in here, we'll do another one in Addy mode with the door closed. All right, so you're gonna shut me in here again. Okay. By the way, it uh, goes without saying, don't try this at home. Let the professional idiots do this. All right, in Addy mode, it is a little squirrely. Ready. Uh, return to position one if you could. We got to try again. And we hit the wall. You're the drone. No, it was, it was the drone. We're good. We're good. Huh. It's still doing all right after hitting the side. That's good. Good little P4. All right. One more try in Addy mode. That was scary. Ready? Yep. 
right. Here we go. It wants to go. Yep. Huh. Okay, here's the problem. That's our only light source. The cameras on the bottom of the drone need light to recognize patterns in the floor. And uh, I originally thought that this van had one of those clear tops that let the sun in, like the UPS trucks do, but it doesn't. So. Clearly not enough light. Okay, for the last experiment, we're gonna hover the drone and then have you back the truck around it. See what happens then. Here we go. GPS mode is on right now. You're good, you're good, keep going. Keep going, keep going. It took it. It took it with it. It is now moving with the truck. Okay, stop. And now we'll get set up for the final shot, which is me in here driving down the road with Crazy Man as I fly the drone inside a closed vehicle. Okay, I know I said that I was gonna stand back here and fly the drone as he drove down the road, but I'm not exactly sure he's a good enough driver for that. I'm a safe driver. So I'm gonna see how it feels. Zach, you doing all right up there? Yeah, I'm doing great. Okay, good, you're doing a good job so far. Just uh, take her easy, take, all right. <laughs> We're gonna get it good. This wouldn't be good with a drone back here with like, you know, spinning blades. It'd be like having an open blender. You had debris? What What are you doing, man? Oh, hell, I love the place, huh? I can't get it done. <laughs> Stop messing with me, man. I know there's nothing out there. You just take it easy. Slow down and, and straighten it out. Yeah, I get to tell you a lot. Let me give it a good Yeah, see, I knew this was a good idea to test this out first. Will this follow the elevator or will it keep its position in space as the elevator goes down. What do you think is going to happen, Dana? I think it's just going to be just like me and you sitting in here. Yeah. It's just going to go right with us. So you think it'll follow the column of air? Yes. Since it's flying in the air. All right, let me get a stable hover and hit the number. Hit it. Oh, I didn't do that. You didn't? No, I didn't. Interesting. All right, got a stable hover. Got a stable. Stable. All right, let's go back to the fourth floor. Oh, I'll be darned. How about that? I was not expecting that at all. We got to do, we got to do one more. We're going down this time, right? Yeah. All right, all right, do it. Wow, no way! <laughs> I think that experiment is done. I think you're right. Dude, that... And I proved myself wrong. I am shocked. Me too. I didn't think there'd be any difference whatsoever. It just sat there. You know, like, like when a, there's a fly in your car? Yeah. The fly, when you accelerate, the fly doesn't hit the back window. It goes with the Maybe we're around. just not accelerating fast enough. <laughs> Wanna try it one more time? <laughs> Let me get it to super stable hover. All right, go. Wow! How about that, man? Well, there you go. Physics, man. There's no mystery any longer. Uh-uh. In order for me to wrap my head around this, I had to remind myself about Newton's second law that says the acceleration of an object as produced by a net force is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force in the same direction as the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object, the object in this case being the drone. Inertia describes an object's resistance to change in motion. When the elevator moves, it does bring the air column along with it, 
but the drone simply slips through the column of less dense air, thus only appearing to rise or fall from the perspective of observers in the elevator. However, if the elevator was filled with water, and instead of a drone there was a neutrally buoyant fish, said fish would indeed rise and fall in concert with the elevator because water is 830 times more dense than air. Which is why your goldfish doesn't slam to the bottom of his bowl when you carry him upstairs. And that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's that same dude. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, if you need to come, come on in. Come on in. Yeah. We're just... Uh, Going up, down. 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 So we're flying a drone in here. Yeah, I see that. Hovering. And then when the elevator moves, do you think that the, the drone would go with the column of air? Or will it go, stay when the elevator moves? Would it move? Like if the elevator goes up, would this go down? Oh, yeah. interesting. Uh, it'll go according to the elevation. So it will follow the column of air? Yeah. S so far, not. No? Yeah, really? yeah. Because that's exactly what we thought. <laughs> yeah, that's what we thought, yeah. <laughs> will you take me home now because uh, you get I'm a, a, getting a little tired? A little tired. Until next time, bye and bye.